How's it going, Pokemon trainers? Trainer Connor 100 here, and you're about to watch another Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle video today. If you enjoy this Wi-Fi battle video, you can hit that like button, and as always, subscribe for more Wi-Fi battles, because I got myself back together here, getting back to Wi-Fi battling, and... Yeah, so I got my new DS and everything. Twitter uh, has everything that you need to know about that because I posted like every little thing that was going on getting my DS and whatnot. It was a fun day uh, getting my new DS. So everything was kind of clear. I'll fix the lighting a little bit for the next upload. But for right now, I like it. Uh, today's battle is a passerby battle again. And... If you look at this matchup, it looks easy on paper, but you're going to see just how interesting that one Pokemon can really affect you throughout the whole match. You'll see what I mean throughout this battle. Hope you guys enjoy. He's going to start out with a Gastrodon. I'm going to start out with Rosemary here. Rosemary is, of course, my Roserig. I figured he might not want to stay in on a Rosary egg like that, so I took this as a chance to hopefully put the Mega Glass coming in to sweep here, but he uh, dodges both of my sweep powders and we get hit by an Ice Punch. Not looking too bright there, but fortunately we hit this one and we put the Mega Glass to sweep there, which is awesome. Now I can switch out and Going to my Mega Absol, who is a Mega, obviously, because I said it was a Mega Absol. Anyways, so Absolute is here. I go with a Sucker Punch, but he switches out and goes into Arbok, which is a little bit... I was really sad to see that, because, like, it was pretty clear that either he expected the Sucker Punch, or it was really evident that going to Arbok, who has Intimidate, was the best idea. So, okay, he called my bluff. We're gonna get out of here with Baton Pass. Going to Mew? Uh, because why not? It's a good typing matchup. I have Psychic on this Mew. This particular Mew has Calm Mind, Aura Sphere, Psychic, and Shadow Ball, I believe. Now, I go with a Calm Mind simply because I expected Magiella to come in. Magiella is, of course, a Dark type, which means Psychic won't work against it. I was a little bit surprised to see that he has Sucker Punch, which is a little bit unfortunate because at that level of HP that my Mew is at, my Life Orb is going to take me out. So, we do take out Magiana, yeah, but we lose my Mew, which is big, really, really unfortunate throughout this match, because without Mew, I can't really do much in handling Arbok, other than having coverage to hit it with. So, on that double down, which are definitely the best types of downs there is in this whole society thing, I don't know, uh, we go into Heatran. Set up Stealth Ops, and we find out that this Gastrodon is definitely specially defensive because it's not doing enough damage with the Earth Power. So, uh, yeah, Heatran, uh, this particular Heatran is a bulky one with Stealth Ops, obviously, and then Earth Power, Lava Plume, and Flash Cannon. So, I am going to reveal that my opponent does not know that I have Energy Ball. Wow, I could have said that a little bit better, but yeah, I have Energy Ball to hit the Gastrodon with, which is which is amazing. So we take out Gastrodon, that's great, but unfortunately that gives my opponent a free switch into his Mega Cross. And yeah, he is asleep right now, but I am hopefully going to wish and pass the wish to my Heatran, who's at low health. However, he wakes up and goes with an Ice Punch. I hold on with 3 HP with a critical hit! Ah, that is so epic! Oh my god, because I had 19 HP to live with, 
and I take 16 damage from the Ice Punch that is resistant. So I was like really happy about that. Unfortunately for me, it lasted like 5 seconds for the happiness to fade away because the Lava Plume fails to KO the Metagross. So that's unfortunate. But that play there with the Ice Punch and I live it, that was really cool. Now I, I again go with another Sucker Punch, which was really dumb because obviously Arbok is coming in with that Inclusion Mate. And so I'm forced to go with another Baton Pass. And without Mew, how am I going to handle this thing? I decided to go into Hercules, my awesome Heracross who's choice scarf in this battle, I go with a Stone Edge and that is pitiful amounts of damage right there. It's not doing enough right now. Obviously the Arbok is setting up with coils. That sucks because now he can basically run train to my entire team if he keeps setting up the way he is doing it right now. Uh, so the fastest thing I have right now and that's just not including Hercules right now because he's choice scarf, is actually Rosemary. So we'll put this thing asleep here. That's my main objective. Uh, and I have Psychic on Rosa the Forges, which is great. However, this sucks. Watch what happens. Yeah, see? that. This is why I hate Pokemon sometimes, because you never know. Yeah, he got a critical hit as well to add another insult to injury there. Ah, uh, uh, so yeah, a little bit of hacks there. So now at this point, I don't really have an answer for Arbok. We'll put him to sleep again, but like, seriously though, why would I do that? Because I obviously don't have anything else to hit the Arbok with. I go with a Leaf Swarm. This Roserade is a little bit weird. It has Sleep Powder, Leaf Swarm, Sludge Bomb, and Toxic Spikes. Um, the reason I didn't go with Toxic Spikes in the beginning is because he has a Poison type, which is Arbok. So if I end up setting up Toxic Spikes, the Arbok would just get rid of them because he's a Poison type. So, all of that aside, uh, he wakes up and just kills me off with a gunk shot once more. I go with a play rough because why not? I'm, the moves I have on Mega Ab, so I'm not going to do anything. I do lower his attack with play rough, but that's not going to save me, unfortunately. So that leaves with just my Hercules choice scarf, and I really don't have a choice but just go with a stone edge and hopefully get a kill with a critical hit because I would like to get one so that way we can have a moral victory meaning I could take out Arbok but I wouldn't want to win this battle because I can't win this battle because you know we didn't take out Charizard or Crocodile or any of those guys we haven't seen them in the whole match so yeah there's a moral to this battle don't underestimate the power of lower class Pokemon. For example, Arbok is a menace to battle. If you don't have the right choices, or actually I do have the right choices, I have the right moves for it, but I didn't use them right. I, I just didn't do it right. Uh, so if you make that kind of mistake, you're going to get wrecked by an Arbok, and that's what happened here. So this is just a learning experience for you guys and for myself, that even though it's a lower class Pokemon that you're dealing with, just don't sleep on it. It's going to be a monster if you don't do it right. All right, that's the battle for you. If you enjoyed this battle, you can hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys for week four of the ICL, and I will hopefully get some Kanto Classic matches going on too, which is another Wi-Fi competition that I'm going to participate in, celebrating the first generation of Pokemon games this year. Alright, have a great day everyone, I'll see you next time.
Goodbye.